Miss Dunham. Lord Babington. We met at the ball. I wondered when he'd come sniffing around. I shan't be put off in that. She professes she wants nothing to do with me. Babington, why do you persist when you are treated with so little civility? Why should it be for him? I don't know what it is, but I find myself quite captivated. Perhaps it's the fascination of what's difficult. I have done all I can to forget about you, but it is quite impossible. Miss Denham? I think I've been unfair to him. I believe she's tamed me. I'm starting to find you slightly better company. <laughs> I feel I could spend a thousand years in your company and still not fathom you out. I can never contemplate a proposal from someone as shallow as you. He is a fool if he cannot see I am not worth having. He asked for my hand. And he is a fool if he thinks I could ever love him as he loves me. Quite extraordinary. He makes me laugh. I've forgotten how that felt. Miss Denham. Will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? <laughs> this is ridiculous. You must see it would be an unmitigated disaster. I'm serious. My dear girl. Don't you know that I'm in love with you? And what is that to me, sis? I do not love you. I don't care. It's enough that you like me and that you trust me. I do not wish to be your property. Good. Because I have no wish to own you. Why else would you have me as your wife? <laughs> because I want to make you happy. Very well then. Stop talking before I change my mind. Lady Babington. All I ask is to walk through life by your side.